All right, what's up, guys? We are out here in lovely Tokyo, Japan, for our early preview of Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. So my name is Yuna. I'm joined with Majin Obama, and of course, you know, you guys already know, man. Our system works. Side Games bringing you this uh, this new fighting game, and who better to show it off than Side Games beats Daigo and Kudo? <laughs> So look at Daigo, yeah, he's pretty uh, pretty lost. I'm looking forward to this match, especially because it's Daigo, right? Yeah. This guy is one of the best programmers in the world, but he's not known for being a, a quick learner, right? And then on the other side, you got Fudo, who kind of who kind of does have that reputation, right? We watched him just break games down so quickly uh, over the years, being able to find the grind very quickly. Yeah, I think if you're going to bring out a player to kind of demonstrate a game before anyone's got their hands on, it's got to be Fudo. For sure, for sure. Daigo, good luck, buddy. <laughs> anyway, let's check out the video and see what's happening here. They filmed this a couple days ago, I think. Yeah, I think uh, sometime last week, mm -hmm. brought in Aru, and then uh, two, of the two of the leads who worked on this game, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Pachi courtesy of Arc System Works, and then fukuhara san from Psy Games. So here we go. Oh, it looks like they're gonna run a team out of here, a pro player and a coach. How about you, who would you choose if you had to pick? Which one? Oh, with, with the players, who do you want? With players? Uh -huh. you, don't, you don't even want to ask me, man. Fudo, I'm going Fudo every time. Mm -hmm. Fudo every time, and then coach, if I had the choice, uh, you, gotta, you gotta go with the SBO bets, man. I'm, I'm gonna pay How about the characters? So it looks like they have choices from five characters here. So we have Gran. Oh, he's doing a little explanation here. Oh, cool. Yeah. So Gran is uh, pretty much he's what the protagonist of Rambo, mm -hmm. right? And just what you would expect, a pretty standard character, right? He has a fireball, has an uppercut, uh, showing off some of, the super, some of the supers there. Yeah, so he's just like a well-rounded, right? Just the standard dude. And he has Catalina here, yeah, all around. Man. I love yeah, a lady yeah, yeah. in uniform, man. Look at that reach. <laughs> Yeah, so you see the sword is like half screen normals right now. Yeah, longer reach than Grand's are pointing yeah, out right now. Yeah, she's the kind of character that'll excel in the mid range and long range like that. Very long pokes. And also has access to a fireball, has access to an uppercut like that. Kind of a standard character. Here's Charlotte. Charlotte in English, I don't know, but small. You know, every fighting game, small characters always have that little advantage. Look, she's hard to hit. She has a huge crown, of course, but I bet you can't hit that. Look at that. She's got she a got, counter, she too. She's got a big hit, yeah. <laughs> her, her ability lets her parry mm -hmm. uh, normals, especially, you know, she's kind of a speedy character. She's yeah, yeah. able to close, them, close in the gap and uh, do some damage mm -hmm. up close, but she also has the threat of that parry in the long range. And this character... Yeah, she's no way she's the fastest Lancelot, right? Yeah, yeah this character, you already know what time it is. So most characters in this game, they uh, they only have are limited to jumps, right? This is one character who has unique air movement, mm -hmm. and he'll be able to show that off just the moment you see He's access, yeah. to, access to a fireball like that and a ground dash along the floor like that. And this is your girl, though. Hold on. You, you oh. actually played the game, right? And you kept talking about fairy, fairy, yeah, fairy. Yeah, I want to yeah. see. I didn't as have a chance to see it. As much as I love a lady in uniform, I love a, I love a girl with cat ears, man. And she's showing you off that long range, man. Look at this. She has uppercut, fireball, set play. I'm, she seems I'm in like love, maybe man. the most technical character out of the five right now. Perhaps. Yeah. So maybe if you're new, if you're coming from the card game, maybe you want to start out playing Grand or Catalina. So you have more fighting game experience, maybe go with Fairy. And right off the bat, Fudo able to beat Daigo and John Ken. No, wait. The comeback. Yeah. Who made scissors? Who made scissors every time? I knew it. I knew it. I had a guess. I was like, I bet Fudo is going to go with Fairy or Lancelot. They seem a bit trickier, you know, a bit harder to use. Daigo keeping it simple. Yeah, I could, as, when, I, when I first got a chance to touch the game, I could definitely see Daigo running Grand or Catalina. Oh, that always. <laughs> yeah, we forgot to mention though, so the reason why we are out here right now, why they're allowed us to come out and watch early, because uh, we're here to talk about the beta test. Yeah. The beta test has been announced already, I'm sure if you're watching the video you're familiar. If you're not, you can apply for it right now. Uh, yeah, of course the deadlines are going to kick in on May 23rd and May 24th, uh, in P 11 p.m. PDT on May 23rd, 6 a.m. GMT on May 24th, and you know that beta test is going to kick off on May 31st. Run until June 1st. Yeah, it's like make three sure, days, right? Yeah, yeah. Make sure you guys sign up, get in there, and uh, at least get a, get a taste of the game early on. Yeah, it's free, right? Free to sign up, free to play. It's going to be packed, so you should be able to easily get some matches online. If you're a streamer, if you're a content creator as well, it's a great opportunity, right? Just get the footage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I read, I didn't have a chance to play, like uh, I mentioned earlier, but I was reading some of the notes here. So they're explaining there's a guard button in this game, which is That's unique, right. in addition to the regular guarding. Yeah, so you can manually guard, mm -hmm. they have a, you have access to a guard button, which is going to make it, uh, it's going to be very strong against, like, cross-up kind of yeah, attacks, yeah. right? And most characters, their jump mediums are going to give you cross-ups, and also there's some supers in the game that are... Can kind of create some nasty set play oh, potential no. like that. Oh, she's still on a block after that. But that's, and there was Chip? Yeah, man, yeah, bro, she's nasty. Yeah, yeah. She's nasty. So... 
the other thing that you want to take notice of is uh, also standard jumps, but also uh, there's ability an ability button that'll let you do some of your specials with the press of a button, and that's going to give have cooldown effects, right? But if you manually input the command, the cooldown will be shorter time. Yeah, so that's a, it's a good system, right? Again, this is Grand Blue. I'm sure the majority of the people, myself included, my first experience with this was the card game, right? So if you don't have that fighting game background, you can choose to use the ability button. If you are a bit, you know, a veteran, you can do the manual inputs there. You get a little bit of bonus, but it's not so much that you have to use it like that. What is Daigo Space doing? <laughs> Uh oh! All right, their, their practice is over. And look, look at the difference. Like Daigo's like, oh yeah. man, I didn't have enough time. The, the Fudo just exuding yeah. confidence after a little bit of a practice. Yeah. Shout out to Arisan, one of Japan's most famous commentators out here. But here we go, Daigo versus Fudo and their respective coaches. Now, Gina, you know you know uh, some of these guys better than anybody else. Want to make the call? How do you think this is going to go down? All right, uh, I have to. If, if I was betting money, I, I would have to go for Fudo, but I think I am forced to cheer for Daigo. So I'm going to be on Team Daigo, okay? As yeah. a commentator. I'm going to gladly get yes. Team Fudo. I'm going to happily uh, bet on him. I have to. I have to cheer for Daigo. It's in my contract, right? There's no possibility that we'll lose. See, Daigo's not even talking right now. Pachi's the one trying to hype him up. Of course, a lot like the past, too, right? Those guys have history. Yeah. yeah, that's very interesting. You mentioned the same thing when you touched it, right? You played for a good long time, right? Yeah. When you were studying and you said it's a lot a lot deeper, a lot harder than you thought by just looking at... Yeah, certainly the there's a lot more to it than first glance. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're a veteran of uh, Arc System Works fighting yeah. games, if you played some of those before, a lot of the systems and mechanics from those ga games uh, are incorporated in some way, shape, or form in Grand Blue Versus. Not just that, the art too. You see that that classic new Arc System yeah, 2.5D style? Like, it's beautiful. In motion, it looks, mm -hmm. it looks fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger's trolling right now. So here we go. Catalina against Lancelot. So we saw Catalina early in the little demo, right? A bit more standard, mid range. Lancelot can be up close, use the mobility, get in there. Yeah, that's the thing. You're going to see him try to force his way in using Fireball and then using those unique movement commands that he has. It's a random land to the throw, no tech from Daigo. So this is my first time seeing the game in action, so I'm looking up at the top. If you guys are new, like me, I'm looking up under the health bar. There are the four abilities, right? So I want to see how fast the, the cooldown is after each one of these. You see that time? Using the ability, abil ability plus projectile to be able to try to close in the gap after. It's a slow moving projectile like that. Good for locking your opponents in the block, son, and just trying to close in the gap after. Yeah. And immediately burn. He had 100 meters, so he burned it right away in the sky down art. A lot of damage. So Daigo is now under 30%. So this he can get the the unleashed, right? The super sky down art if if Daigo remembered. So you have access to two supers for each character. Yeah. Actually, there's a, there's a couple characters that are kind of different, but yeah. in general okay. you're gonna have your 100% skybound art, and then you have the Kaihoogi, which yeah. is the super super. When you get into 30%, you still have that 100% gauge just underneath the help bar, the top of your screen. Okay. Daigo, what do you do? <laughs> the random super, and you know Fudo's gonna punish that. Daigo space. <laughs> you got pranked, Daigo. You told me to do the wrong super, I guess. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I told you to do. Pachi already disappointed with the student. Yeah, I like all the notes too. It's very uh, helpful there. We got counter down, invincible. Letting you know what happens. Yeah, and you notice that throw tech too. Mm -hmm. Right? There's throws in this game and also throw techs, but there's also late techs. Yep. If you are able to tech the throw, but you're just a little bit late, you'll still take some damage from the throw. Yeah, I like that. That's actually a bit a bit advanced talk, but that's to kind of deal with uh, defensive, defensive option selects and stuff. Try and make it a fair and honest fighter here. You put a lot of meter in this game too. Yeah, moving forward move builds you so much gauge and also you know, uh, there's also mm -hmm. form instant blocking too, right? And that's good for being able to save up gauge as well. So if you play at the high level, if you're kind of able to understand the game, how hits work, it'll be very easy for you to build up gauge and build up meter in this game. I watch the Japanese players, right? So Daigus kind of stole that round just using overheads. Every character in the game does have a universal overhead. I think they call it a heart attack. Fudo ate like five of them. Yeah, counter. Yeah, that was off the, the powered up version too. That move. It's invinci It's like an invincible DP that does bounce on counter hit. It's crazy. Fudo lands a hit. Can't do a combo though. There we go. Okay. Hold on. Oh, was he able to punish her? Mm -hmm. Wow. He's trying to throw. He's out of range though. Dog, use your meter. Use your meter. Use your meter, dog. 
Oh, Kudo just trying to bait him from full screen. There you go. He overshot. Daigo ran up full screen, tried to bait out the throw. No good. He kind of threw it away. And that was my best character. No. <laughs> yep. <laughs> As expected. So you, and you saw Pluto use a lot of uh, Lancelot's movement right yeah. there on the ground, right? Character's so fast. You saw him get in the throw range a lot of time, back up, wait for Daigo to press a button, then go by, go in and try to tag him for it. So Daigo going with Charlotte. Very, yeah. I guess I, as, as expected. I knew Fudo when he saw this character. I was like, this character has way too many options for him not to pick his character. Yeah, she has what, like an air dash? She has a real kick? She I mean, has I mean, projectiles? She has every set? Yeah. So that, uh, that's GG, right? The little, the little cat. You can throw it at different ranges along the screen, and also it, when it shocks, it ha that's, a, that's an attack. You lock your opponent in the block stop. Long Beach character like this, right? Has access to a DP, fireball, mid range kind of hit grab attack where you can choose to either. Explode them yeah. for a good bit of extra or damage, or, you, reel right? them, or reel them in and try to run some set plays. So I think he's playing Charlotte. She's a dive kick yeah, too. He's got everything. Man. Dude, unique air movement. Wait for uh, Fudo to jump into the air. You'll see. Yeah, yeah. I, I scored earlier during the thing. She like flies across with the whip. But Charlotte, she's got one of her abilities is actually like a, a parry slash counter. We yeah. might see the, the famous Daigo parry here in Grand Blue. DP through. This one DP is a lot of damage actually. Yes. Right up throw, he mistimed it though. GG. Jumped up into GG. And the other thing you saw Daigo using there was uh, uh -huh. Charlotte's unique command jump, mm -hmm. right? She can alter, her, alter the trajectories of her jump like that, come down with an attack, faint with it, go forward, back, or whatever. Yeah, I guess we're relying on the heart attack, so he's not sure how to open up Fudo, so he keeps going to the heart attacks, but it looks like Fudo figured that out, and now he's just zoning her out. Yeah. Light punishes, but he'll take that. Oh, he comboed into the projectile up there. Be nah, careful, Daigo. Be careful. Be careful. Daigo's lost. He's lost. He gets in. He goes for a okay. grab. Fudo with the tech. 100 meter, though. And that's the beauty yeah. of this. You just Look put the ball out there. So we had about it. Oh, that's cool, though. The ball doesn't bounce off the wall. I guess only in the corner. Ooh. A man jump. <laughs> he did the low blow. and the throw. Pachi nodding. He's like, all right, Daigo, okay. <laughs> So Fudo's asking, like, well, well, what is that jump attack she does? Can she go high? Can she go low? So very tricky technique. Fudo still doesn't know how to deal with it. Yeah, it looks like his plan, though, is just taking advantage of Ferry's range, just staying away. Long range character mm -hmm. versus a character that pretty much has to go win, right? So he's just trying to utilize that. You see the That's Fudo two showing hits on the projectile? Yeah. Fudo showing off the dive kick, too, in the air. Why does she have all this? It's invincible. All right, Daigo's turn. He's got Fudo in the corner, right? This is where he wants him. Got a cross up. Okay, Daigo. Got 100 meter, Daigo. Another grab. Into the throw. Uh oh. Oh no, the, oh, the heart attack gets him again. Another heart attack. That's good. Just, just abusing that man. <laughs> so greedy, man. So many V sets in the overhead like that. And Budo ain't. You see Budo trying to tech the grab, though. So that's, that's cool about the heart attack. It's pretty fast. And one of the problems in some other games is when you go for an overhead, you can get thrown out of that. Mm. But the heart attack looks like they jump in the air, so that's a good way to beat that option. And now he's going back to uh, to Lancelot here, the final match one on one. I still have my money on Fudo. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> overhead again. And now Daigo, he's overhead paying dividends right now. Yeah, it's the run up overhead or throw mix up right now from Daigo again, right? The overhead. With Catalina, I saw him combo after that too, but I'm not sure if he can do it. Fudo now. Closing in, trying to use some of that speed. Yeah, both players. There we go. Finally, yeah, finally now Daigo is. Or Fudo's starting to recognize Daigo likes to go for the low after that. Mm -hmm. Cross it through, DP is baited. That's right. As good as an option as, you know, having a block button is going to be really strong against a lot of the cross up stuff. Lancelot has access to a lot of left right. Yeah, no. If, you, if you're holding the block button, I'm sure you can't press an attack, right? So it's a bit different from holding back. And blocked it again. Fudo! He's giving, he's giving props to Daigo's defense. He can't open up Charlotte. That's gotta just be because, you know, they just got their hands on the game. Lancelot looks like a really tricky character. For sure, yeah. yeah. Maybe maybe kind of a different... This is also kind of a kind of character Fudo I think can do well with. It's also interesting too seeing these guys. This is the first time really trying to play a, a fast, you know, high-paced game like this. 
Oh, tries anti air, but Dagi just going in. Dagi is holding forward. Holding forward and then just emphasizing yes. that overhead throw mix up, like you said. Okay, yeah, they got full meter here. Dives at low health. He's got access to the super sky bound if he wants it. You gotta burn the games though, Fudo. You're sitting on all that meter. There we go. Reversal super Definitely. connected. <laughs> one to one. So does meter carry over? Let's see. Daigo finish with 100. Does it carry over? It does not. Okay. Yeah, so at least it's in between rounds, but that's the thing. You build meter in this yeah. game so quick. Yeah. Yeah. You want to make sure you use it. Moving forward alone builds so much gauge. Yeah, mainly they've only been using it mostly for the, uh, you know, the Skybound arts, but you do have powered up versions of your specials here. So you can't spend meter for that. That's right. Normally your, your attacks have cooldowns, right? But if you use the meter burn versions of those, they'll have longer cooldowns, yep. but they also have added effects. Better powers and everything. Now Daigo, watch out. This is match point. This is double match point right now. Life lead on Fudo's side. Set point. Lands a hit. Fudo with the close confirm. He got 100 meters. Oh, he got 100 meters. He got Daigo tries. This is the Super Sky Bale Art. Block from Fudo. He's got nothing left. Oh, yes, the hit. Fudo takes it. Daigo didn't want to block. He did not want to block at the end. Lancelot, you know, doing what he does best, just gets in your face. Ta da! So Fukuhara san and Fudo are able to take it over Daigo and Pachi. The fist bump. <laughs> yeah, it was mainly his Lancelot, right? It's very. Mm -hmm. But like, like we mentioned, very, it seems more technical. Maybe he just needs a bit more time. But let's see. What does Daigo think of this game? I'm interested. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they only had, they had a little bit under an hour, so that that's an hour of gameplay between these two guys, but the beta test is three whole days, right? Yeah. So you have all the time in the world, I'm sure all the people watching right now, once they get their hands on it, once the other pros get their hands on it, everyone starts sharing tech and strategy, uploading videos and stuff, we're going to see a completely different game. Yeah, you see, guys, man, even with just an hour, right, even though these are professional players, they weren't able to completely tap into all the potential that the game has. So you guys at home, make sure you guys sign up for that beta. Like you said, it's going to go on at the end of the month, May 31st to June 1st. Mm -hmm. Make sure you guys get out there, sign up, and yeah, you can be a part of it. You can be a part of it. Cutoffs will be uh, May 23rd, May 24th, depending on where you are. So you got a bit of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is cool. He's talking about the, cool the cooldown system, right? That's very, very unique here. And it's it's nice because it's not... You saw too, the normals are just as effective. The mobility is just as effective. You don't have to just rely on the, the special attacks. So you just kind of complement your gameplay there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, use the skills. Yeah, we saw that. It was actually the first combo Fudo did, right? He did, you know, combo into the super, into super yeah. and that was the last time he did it. He forgot the combo <laughs> mid-set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in just one hour. I want to see Pachi's face, so was he salty? They both had, uh, yeah, they both had the, uh, the student and the teacher here. <laughs> Yeah, so here's some more news right now. That's the beta test from May 31st to June uh, to June 1st, so three days over that weekend. Mm. There we go, Otto is out. Well, all right, guys, yeah, thanks for tuning in to uh, this Grand Blue Versus exhibition. Mm -hmm. uh, once again, make sure you guys sign up for the beta. It's going on at the end of the month. It's going to be a lot of fun. you got three days to be able to break down the game. Are you going to play? Absolutely. Oh, man, you, bro, no, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll play you. I'm Team Ferry all day. You're Team Ferry? I'm Team Ferry. I, I don't think, uh, if you're Team Ferry, it seems like a zoning character. I don't think one I'm, I'm going to rush you down. Oh, you, you don't understand. I'm going to rush you down. I'm Best Ferry in Japan. Right now? I'm Best Ferry in Japan. We'll see at the beta test. But yeah, once again, guys, I'm June. I'm joined with... Majid Obama. Catch you guys next time. Yep, peace, guys.